What's going on guys? Today we are checking out the K-Edge uh, GoPro uh, stem cap mount. So this is going to replace your headset star nut cap and uh, it's going to give us the opportunity to mount a GoPro. Uh, for a guy like me it's going to be going on my road bike because I don't know if you guys know this but I actually spend quite a bit of time on my road bike and uh, get into some ridiculous situations. So I wanted something to basically uh, catch some footage on a loop. If anything pops up, then great. And maybe I'll throw together some compilations here, but it's also to protect myself. So anyway, we've got the K-Edge uh, mount. So I'm gonna take this out of the package, uh, show you it, and then uh, mount it up. So there's nothing too fancy to this unboxing other than uh, just cutting basic shrimp, shrink wrap off of uh, the mount itself. And they do have a bolt, which is great. Um, don't know if I'm going to need it or not, but uh, well, it's got some weight to it, which is nice. I uh, don't know if I'm going to need this bolt or not, but I may use it depending on how long it has to be in correlation to the depth of this guy here. Well, that's pretty, goes in flush. Nice. Okay, so that's it. Uh, one thing to note, I can tell right off the hop, this is machined and made in the U.S. So uh, you can see the tolerances, it is quite nice, similar to the GoPro uh, Pro Series mount, I believe is what they're called. Uh, if I'm wrong on that, you can let me know below. But uh, all aluminum, nice and heavy duty, so it's gonna hopefully keep things nice and sturdy. So let's mount that on the bike and show what it looks like. This is the current stock form of my top cap for my headset. So we're gonna loosen the stem off, uh, undo that, and then replace it with the new model and snug everything up and mount the camera. So first things first, we'll take this off and then mount the new top cap. All right, so that is the top cap mounted to the bike. It's nice and sturdy. Um, like I said earlier, I suggest that you loosen off the stem and then tighten it down rather than just loosening the old top cap off just to kind of keep everything nice and snug. Um, but it looks good. We're gonna go mount the GoPro on it and see what that looks like. Here is a side angle of the mount. So as we can see, a nice and sturdy base. And uh, you know, the camera's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna shake off or anything like that. Here is a side profile on the mount itself. And I also just wanna tell you that you can in fact run this uh, stem cap backwards or forwards, it doesn't matter, or even sideways if you wanted to. Uh, the clocking on it doesn't matter. So if you wanna move the GoPro back a little bit, or if you uh, want to mount it forward like I did, I don't know how I'm going to keep it. I literally just uh, mounted it and uh, haven't even played with the, the clocking on the GoPro, but uh, you know, it leaves the door and the options open. All right, so that is it all mounted up. Now we have the GoPro Hero 7 or 8 or whatever it is mounted up on there, nice and tidy. And uh, we're ready to hit the path and uh, just throw the GoPro onto a loop. And uh, you know, if I pick up any situations, which seems to be happening just about every single ride now. Um, you know, we'll, we'll throw together a bit of a compilation of uh, Fish Creek Park and Calgary area, ridiculous path uh, events. So yeah, that's it. Seems sturdy, nice and light and uh, ready to rock and roll. All right, later.